What is going on everyone? Anthony Cofrancesco here from Data Dive, and in this video, I'm gonna be giving you a full product rundown, everything you need to know about how to use Data Dive. Now, we have other videos on the YouTube channel which break down each individual component separately, so this is gonna be a pretty quick run through. Let's dive in. So what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be diving a product. For today, I'm gonna to go with a sneaker cleaning kit. So in order to start my research, I'm gonna start by typing in my hero keyword into the search bar, and I'm gonna to try to select 15 plus relevant competitors, people that are all selling something very similar, and I wanna start by selecting products that are not sponsored, right? These are gonna be the highest organic performance for this hero keyword. So I'm gonna start by clicking the plus icon underneath each product. This is gonna add it to my ASIN tray. Right, so all of these look good. We've got some sponsored products here, so I'm gonna skip them. Got some more sponsored. Got this plus icon. Cool. And I'm gonna skip this one because it comes with like a deodorizer. I'm just gonna try to get people that are only selling sneaker cleaning kits. Right? So like this looks good, this looks good, this looks good. Right, it's like the liquid, the brush, everything included all in one kit. That's what I'm looking for today. Okay, so now I've selected at least 15 plus relevant competitors. Now I can come over into the Data Dive extension. I can go over to my ASIN tray and I can see I've got 21 products that have been added to my tray. So the next thing I'm gonna wanna do is name my niche and I'm gonna make my niche name my hero keyword. So I'm gonna call this sneaker cleaning kit and then I'm gonna click dive. It's gonna take about 60 to 90 seconds for this report to generate, and then we're gonna be able to start doing our analysis. Now, for the purpose of this demo, I'm gonna show you how to find gaps in the MKL and then fix those using the listing builder. So I'm gonna grab one of these products at random and just pretend that this is my product, right? That I'm looking at optimizing it, and I'm also gonna show you what I would do if I would wanna launch a new product into this niche. So all of our research is now done. So now I can navigate to my master keyword list and I can start doing what we need to do next, which is cleaning up the MKL. As you can see here in this niche, right now we have 500 different ways that people are searching for this product. We need to clean up this master keyword list by getting rid of any branded search terms and any keywords that are not relevant to the product that we're trying to sell. So one of the quick things that I can do is I can click on this B button and it's gonna automatically identify 48 different branded search terms that I can quickly remove from the MKL just from clicking the banner. The next thing I'm gonna wanna do is take a second pass on the list. I still have 452 keywords in my MKL, right? So now I can start getting rid of, I see other brand names here, so I see FZ is one. There's three keywords. I can bulk delete by clicking the select all button. I can get rid of those, wait for it to reload. Right, so I got rid of that brand FZ, right? I, can, I see Sneaker Eraser here, that seems like a brand name. We've got MGK, MGK looks to be another one. So I can get rid of these and then also type in MGK, MGK. So I can get rid of all of these, remove. And then I also know that there's gonna be a lot of branded search terms related to different types of shoes that the sneaker cleaners can clean, right? So these are things like Jordan, Yeezy, Converse, Vans. I'm gonna put all of those into this search bar and I'm gonna manually delete all of those. So we're gonna type in Jordan here. We can see there's 19 keywords that I can remove from the MKL. I'm gonna type in Vans. We've got another 11 keywords here. I'm gonna do Nike next. Okay, so you can see I have another 91 keywords that I just removed from my master keyword list. I spent probably about five or so minutes cleaning up the MKL. This is probably one of the most important things that you're gonna do because if you start an analysis or you start to optimize your listing based off of a dirty MKL, it's just gonna lead to you having issues. So you can see at this point, I've gotten rid of 187 keywords that were not related to this niche. You can see that I've got a bunch here, right? So some of them are branded search terms of the names of other products. So you can see Crep is showing up, Rejuvenate. Uh, there's also keywords related to different types of shoes that you could clean with the sneaker cleaning kit, 
right? So things like Jordan, Air Force One. Now, one other quick note, I'm not gonna remove these for the purpose of this demo, but let's say that I had a shoe cleaner, right? And my shoe cleaner only cleans leather, right? It doesn't clean suede, it doesn't clean canvas, it doesn't clean fabric. I could go and remove those from my MKL as well if they were not relevant. So you can see here, if I type in suede, right? There's 27 keywords that include suede. If my shoe cleaner didn't clean suede, I would want to remove these. Now that we have a clean master keyword list, now we can start to do our analysis. And so what this data is showing you from a high level is that there's 313 different ways people are searching for this product. As I scroll down the left-hand side of the screen, I'm going to see all of those different keywords people are searching for. I'm going to see the corresponding search volume for that keyword. And then on the right-hand side, I'm going to see the organic rank. Right, so you can see this brand here, Pink Miracle, they're doing a very good job. Right now, they're ranked on page one for 100% of the keywords out of this list of 313, and almost all of the ranks, right, are almost all ones and twos. It's not until we get all the way down here that we see this suede cleaning kit where there is a gap, right? You can see here, here they're in position number 39. So the other thing we can do here on the master keyword list is we can get an overall view of how competitive this niche is, right? So for example, we can see here that there's nine sellers that are very strong, right? Anyone who is very strong or red, we're saying that they're ranked on page one for more than 80 plus percent of the search volume in the MKL. These other four sellers here are strong, they're ranked on page one for more than 60 plus percent of the MKL. So if I wanna come through and start to compete in this niche, right, I'm gonna com be competing first and foremost against these nine people. And these other four are gonna be extremely difficult to beat. These nine here, I might never beat. These other four, it might take me months and months uh, to get to this level. Versus if we were in a niche where there was, I don't know, 10 or 15 very weak sellers, these are people that I'm gonna be able to beat if you follow our launch SOPs within the first couple of weeks, right? Very easy, a lot less competition. All right, so now we've started to analyze our master keyword list. Let's say that we're gonna launch a new product in this niche. We wanna launch our own shoe cleaner. What would we wanna do to set this product up so that we have the correct title and the correct listing from the start? So what I would do is I would focus just on the keyword roots that are already in this dive. And what I'd do is I'd go over to the listing builder. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build out my title. Now I can click this select keyword button and then it's gonna automatically build me out a keyword stuff title. So the only thing I'd really have to do here is add on my brand name. So I'm just gonna call this Anthony's. I'm just gonna say that's my brand name. And then what it's gonna automatically do is it's keyword stuff the title with the most important keyword roots. And I still have a little bit of extra space. I'm only using 117 out of 200 characters. So I already have a pretty good title. You can see here on the leaderboard that my ranking juice is higher than basically everyone else in this niche. And this is a keyword stuff title. I wouldn't wanna upload this directly into Amazon, but this is a really good starting point for moving forward. The next thing that I can do is I can use this AI copywriter button and it's gonna automatically build me out a bullets and a description, right? That are gonna be based on optimizing ranking juice per character. So you can see here, I've got some pretty good bullets already. It's built me out a title, I mean a description rather. And these are all set up here. I can go and check myself on the leaderboard and I can see overall I'm doing quite well. For title, I'm in number one. For bullets, I'm in number four. And description, number four as well. Now I could go do some manual work here, clean this up, check the AI's work, that's what we'd really recommend, but this would be a really good starting point. So let's say that, okay, I've already analyzed this niche, I've said that I'm gonna launch the product, I've built out a listing, now what I can do is I can go over to the PPC keywords tab and I'm gonna create a launch PPC campaign, something that I could start with, I could dial in and make my performance a little bit better over time. So in order to do that, I'm just gonna to come to the PPC Keywords tab. I'm gonna click Import MKL. This is gonna bring in all the keywords currently in my master keyword list. And then if I wanna very quickly build out a PPC campaign to work with this product, I just come over here to the PPC Campaigns for Launch tab and watch how easy this is, setting up a PPC campaign for this niche. All I have to do is select the keyword roots and then it's going to build me uh, campaigns based on those roots. So remember, when I'm talking about a keyword root, I mean two or more keywords, which is a unique way of describing a product. So I'm gonna go with sneaker cleaner, 
That's a good root. Shoe cleaner. Shoe cleaner sneaker. Sneaker kit, I think works. Shoe cleaner sneaker. Suede shoe cleaner. And I think there's just a little bit of a glitch, so it's not showing up as, as selecting here, but I can see that I do have four root groups, now five root groups defined here. So I could go through and do this for all of my keyword roots. That's what I would recommend doing. Select all of them that are a unique way of describing the products, two or more keywords. And then what I can do is once I've selected, I only have five selected right now, there's probably more like 12 or 15 for this niche. Once I select all of those, then I can set my parameters for the campaign. And then down here, I can see that it's built me based on those five keyword roots that I've selected. It's put uh, 23 campaigns. I can see all of the keywords here. I can decide if I want to turn something on or turn something off. And then I can either send the campaign directly to Amazon or I can generate a bulk sheet. So just with a few clicks, I already have very manageable, very easy to control uh, keyword campaigns. So the last couple of things that I'm gonna show you here, I'm gonna show you the deep dive tab very briefly. Let's say that I wanted to launch this new product. I could get an idea of what all of the other listings look like for the current competitors, right? You can see I've got breakdown of keyword search volume here. I've got some Google search trends data. What I recommend doing is going to the collapse all view so I can see all of the image galleries in one spot, right? And I can see, okay, what are the other competitors doing for their products? What are the order of images that they have? What are the different types and styles of images that they have? And then I can try to model my own image galleries off of this, right? So I can see here in image position two, they've got a, like a what's included. This one here is a before and after, right? So I can start to get some semblance, some idea already of if I'm building out an image gallery, I'm probably gonna wanna have an image that shows everything included with the product, a before and after, what types of materials this product can clean, what types of shoes this product can clean, is it safe, right? How does this work? And so I can quickly do that inside of the deep dive tab. The other thing that I might wanna do is if I am launching a product for the first time is fill out the product scorecard. Right? This is going to allow me to quickly validate a product and I can see how good or how risky, I guess I should say, is a product relative to other products that I've researched. So in order to use the product scorecard, you just fill out the questions here by answering all four sections. And when you do, in the end, you're going to get a score for each section and then you're going to get an overall score. Right? The higher the positive score is, right, lower risk product, the bigger the negative score is, it's just gonna mean it's generally a higher risk product. So before you launch, you're definitely gonna wanna fill out the product scorecard and see how that compares to other uh, product scorecards that you've filled out in the past. The only other thing that I wanna show you is the rank radar. So this ideally is gonna be used for once you launch a product, you're gonna to wanna to start tracking keyword ranks. If you're optimizing a product, an existing product, you're gonna to wanna to track your keyword ranks. So if I look here, I used to have a tracked product already done. I'm just gonna grab this brand name here, this ASIN rather, and how I'm gonna start tracking a rank for this product, let's say I started launching, I'm gonna wanna track this from the beginning. So all I have to do to start tracking the product using the rank radar is to paste in the ASIN. It's gonna pull it up automatically for me here. And then I'm just gonna select my niche name. So this is for my sneaker cleaning kit niche. I've got the product here, and then I click start tracking. Now, this is only gonna give me the first day of data because I just started this today, but as you can imagine, as you start to fill these out and get more data, it's gonna show you day after day, it's gonna show you how these keyword ranks change. So really good if you're launching a product, really good if you're optimizing. The last thing I wanna show very quick is the AI product brief tool. And so basically how this works is you're just gonna select the top 10 competitors from your niche. You're gonna click analyze selected competitors. This is gonna take around five to 15 minutes to run, right? What it's gonna do is it's gonna, based on the information on the product detail page, based on the information and reviews, it's gonna show me what do people like about the product? What do people not like about the product? Ideas for improvement and customer avatars. So if you've gone through, you've done your product scorecard, you think, hey, this is a good product opportunity. This is a really great automated way that you can start getting information about this product.
So that's where I'm gonna wrap up for right now. That was a very quick product demo. I hope that was helpful. Be sure to check out the other videos on this channel. They give you a much more in-depth walkthrough on each of the individual components of the tool. This was very quick. It's supposed to give you a high level overview into the overall workflow. Thanks so much and we'll see you in the next video.